you guys know what happens to those that bite the hand that feeds. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, hey there. I'm Brendan Peterson, the founder of Dark Slide Pictures and the director of Paper Wasps. Welcome to Appalling Productions Mondays number 24. This episode is entitled, Seven More Weird Filmmakers You Should Know. Anyways, <laughs> I got an extra hand here, so if anybody needs a finger or anything, just uh, come on by the studio here. <laughs> All right, um, let's move on to the list. Starting off with number seven is John Waters, an American filmmaker who rose to fame in the early 70s with his transgressive cult films. He's quite well known in the weird filmmaking community, but if you haven't checked out his stuff and you like weird films, you definitely should check out his work. There's a reason that he's called the Pope of Trash, and if you ask me, He's the perfect example of how trashy can be classy. So yeah, check him out. Number six is Harmony Corinne, an American filmmaker who is best known for writing the film Kids and writing and directing his own films as well. Possibly his weirdest film is a film entitled Trash Humpers that premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival and won the main prize. His filmography is full of strange and weird films that are uniquely his own and are quite varied. His most recent film, for example, Spring Breakers, is kind of a parody that's disguised as a mainstream comedy which acts as an interesting and unique commentary on gangster culture. And number five is John Svankmash, a Czech filmmaker who is a surrealist and known for his animations and stop-motion based films and features. He is known to have greatly influenced other great artists such as Terry Gilliam and the Brothers Quay. His meticulous use of stop-motion is incredible and unmatched visually, and brings the dreamlike qualities of his films to an astounding level. He believes that stop-motion adds some sort of dreamlike quality that nothing else can that is unique to cinema itself. It's absolutely worth checking out his stuff. Number four is Alondro Jodorowsky, a Chilean French filmmaker who is best known for his avant-garde films which are filled with surreal and mystic imagery. He's another weird filmmaker that is legendary among other filmmakers, and for good reason. His feature films feature some striking imagery which you're unlikely to see in any other film. He's one of the weird filmmakers that is essential, so if you haven't seen anything he's done, just look it up and you'll see for yourself how weird it is. Number three is Guy Madden, a Canadian filmmaker who has a distinctive style that recreates the look of silent and early sound era films. He has directed numerous feature and short films, and even was a visiting lecturer on visual and environmental studies at Harvard University. He is one of Canada's best known and celebrated filmmakers. My Winnipeg is said to kind of blur the genres of documentaries and fiction film into a, a new way that possibly might not have been done before. So check out his stuff if you haven't already. In at number two is Werner Herzog, a German filmmaker. He's a figure in the new German cinema movement. His films often feature ambitious characters who have impossible dreams, people with unique talents, or people in conflict with nature. American film critic Roger Ebert said that Herzog has never created a single film that is compromised, shameful, made for pragmatic reasons or uninteresting. Even his failures are spectacular. He was also named one of the world's 100 most influential people by Time Magazine in 2009. And in at number one is David Lynch, an American filmmaker who once again 
he is very well known in the weird filmmaking community. He may very well be the most well-known weird filmmaker at this point. His new season of Twin Peaks solidifies him as one of the most important filmmakers working today in the experimental genre, and one that is able to do it with a decent budget as well, which results in some incredibly far out stuff. If you're into weird filmmakers, you probably have seen his work already, or you might have, but if you haven't, you really need to check it out. Hey, thanks for watching this week's episode of Appalling Productions Mondays. Stay tuned for next week's episode, which will be the final episode for a while as we go on hiatus for a bit. And that's because we're working on our uh, fourth feature soon called Ha Ha Jackal. And there might also be a different YouTube series happening uh, at the same time that we're working on that's going to be more of a, a monthly release instead of weekly. So, stay, stay tuned for that, and uh, have a good night, everyone. See y'all later. Ahem. <clears throat>